I sponsored a footballer. Which one? You'll find out in good time, but I'm down at Walthamstow Football Club to see West Essex train and find out a little bit more about the financial struggles at this level. 100% the greatest sound in football is this. Would you assume that a team that's playing here this season would train on the pitch or do you think they'd use like a 3G, 4G pitch next door? I think they'd be using the 3G, wouldn't they? Considering, Surely. yeah, they've got the sprinkler out got as the well. the sprinklers, yeah. This is Coco, by the way, for Palmer's fans. He was briefly there. Played uh, three games, four games, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a good three or four games as well. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a bit of a shit season for me to start playing. I was moving, like, Mrs. lived in Wandsworth, mm. so I was showing from London to come down to Brentwood. It's not ideal. So, is yeah, it? it was a bit of a nightmare for me to uh, start. So, yeah, four games later, my career was done. Don't done injure knee. And, yeah, that was it. Sort of done I was done. Now, well, we've got a few yeah. more boys turning up now, so I think. Yeah, we've got a couple more. We've got the twins. I can just do one pitch for the twins. No one's going to no realise, so I'll just do one for them. No one would know. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to give you an idea of where West Essex currently sit in the English football pyramid, they're nine tiers down from the Premier League. Step five of non-league. Believe it or not, a lot of people get confused about the steps. It starts here at the National League, the old conference, basically the Premier League of non-league. Step two will be your National League North and South. And going down from here, it becomes very regionalised, because you can imagine for non-league sides with not a lot of money, it's a lot to travel up and down the country. And don't forget the players, they're, they're all part-time. Well, the majority of them anyway. But yeah, we eventually get down to step five, which is the Essex Senior League, a league I've featured many a times in the On The Road series. And West Essex, as they push for extra funds, will hope to be in the mix come the end of the season. So obviously the title of this video is uh, our sponsor, The Footballer. Let's talk about that quickly. This started last week when Cal Bloss, ex-Palmers FC player, semi-pro player as well, he's just come back to West Essex. And I literally just got this message out of the blue. He said, Smith, how are you, mate? Quick question, I've gone back to West Essex, which is this lot here. Uh, and they're looking for player sponsorships. I was thinking it would be like 100, 200 quid. You come back with like 50 quid. But um, yeah, I thought if I make a video about me sponsoring a player, the ad revenue, because you know how YouTube works, you guys know how it works, you get money for your videos. The money for that will literally pay for it. So making this pays for that. So really, YouTube has sponsored them because I've not, I'm not out of pocket because I can make some money off this. Not loads. Not like these million millionaires on YouTube, but I can make enough off of this video to sponsor a non-league player to get them by a little bit more. We're very used to seeing all these transfers go through at the moment. Players on like 150, 200 a week, and like literally a day could pay for their whole season. So we're going to talk to Dan now, I think. Should we, should we go and do that? Let's go and do that. Yeah, let's go and talk to Dan now. How is it to manage a non-league side in terms of like finances? Is it stressful? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's a few, there's a few sleepless nights. <laughs> a few sleepless nights involved. Yeah, you know, you've got a situation where you've got a lot of, you, you need cash flow, and you don't have a lot of it, and you have to chase, and you have to, you know, you have to graft for it. Yeah, it's a pretty, it, it, you, put, you do feel under a bit of pressure. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. So, like, for you guys, you were at Walthamstow, obviously, not your ground. No. What sort of things can a team that don't necessarily own a ground do to make revenue? So you have to be pretty inventive. Yeah. Um, Obviously, the main you know the main revenue streams for us are through sponsorship, and we're like super lucky that we've got some like, we've got some lovely people that look after us and help us out with that. So is that like kit sponsors? Kit spot. I mean, we'll let them sponsor anything really. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, but we've had, you know we've tried to sponsor the kit. We sponsored our training tops in the past. Yeah. Um, you have to be again you know try and try and be a bit in, a bit inventive with that. Probably the other revenue stream is obviously through the gate. Now, sure. From a gate perspective, we try and keep our prices really low mm. because. We want to encourage people to come in. Of course. What is the ticket price for you? So guys? six, six pounds. Six quid. Yeah. It's a bargain. So, uh, it's a bargain. Yeah. So you, you mentioned you, you've put this in here, the uh, the old food stall. What are the burgers like? Yeah, they're pretty good, man. Yeah, I've, yeah. I, yeah. I would say I would say like a, so, a solid eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um, yeah. And a, and value wise, I think it's uh, you know might you, we might squeeze that up to a nine because they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're you know they're not expensive. Okay. Um, okay. Because the best burger it. I've had at, in the Essex Senior League was Takeley. Okay. Also two pound fifty. Because I know you, oh, you okay, mentioned. Yeah. No, I had a Takeley burger last year. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It was yeah, good. Yeah. Takeley burgers. Yeah. Get a chance. Fortunately, though, I, they, the PA system is there, and they were playing Adele really loudly <laughs> while I was eating it, which <laughs> sort of ruined. Yeah, the, yeah. I can imagine. Ruined the experience <laughs> slightly, but yeah. You have to go no, to that dark yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, burger, good, but, yeah. good burger. Yeah. So what I was thinking tonight. So if we was to say fifty quid to sponsor Blossy for the season, I'll double that straight away. We'll go hundred. Wow. Do you take Amex? <laughs> Does anyone take Amex? Everyone. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just got an Amex. I'm trying to get the Avios points to go abroad. And, yeah. Gonna offer Blossy a bit of a challenge tonight. Every time he hits the crossbar, he multiplies it. Okay. So if he gets two, it's 200. If he gets three, it's 300. 
four, four hundred. And Blossy can hit a crossbar, but that's that's my plan. Give him back to non-league football. Um, I'm a Grays boy, so ideally I would be going to Grays to do this. But <laughs> Blossy's my mate. He's asked me to come down. You got him first, basically. So um, yeah. Oh, we're, look, we're 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 very grateful to say. Really, really great to great to have you involved. It's a beautiful idea. Love it. Should we go and uh, should we go and hit a crossbar? Well, hopefully not for my uh, mm. my bank balance. <laughs> so Dan was actually very open with me with the uh, club's finances and was happy for us to share this in the video. But when it comes to the basic running costs of the club, you've got to take into account stadium hire, training facilities, league fees, equipment, officials and catering. You're looking at around 25 grand. And yeah, that's for the whole season. To cover a whole squad, the volunteers and everything that comes with it. To give you an idea, that's half a day's pay for Erling Haaland. I own you now. Perfect. <laughs> So whatever I, I say it. goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, response of Blossy, 100 quid a season, but every time he hits the crossbar, we're going to multiply it. When you're ready, mate, when you're ready. Let's go! Take time, take time. That's so good! Oh, it's up! There it is! It counts. It counts. It counts. It counts. This is. One more. 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 One so I, 100 quid would have been alright, they'd have been happy with that, but um, 700 quid Ouch. into non-league. I think I was saying, yeah, because I could make a little bit of money from the video and put it in, but now I've got actually, I've got to dig in now. In your head right now, what are you doing, calculations, what does that pay for? A uh, game changer for us. Yeah, yeah like we, you know, we've got, we're probably looking, we're staring down the barrel of about a 10 grand deficit at the moment, wow, okay. so, you know, chunking away at things like that, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, you, you know, we've, we've got a long way to go, we've got, you know, we've got a very, a few, other things that we'll have that will come along, but early in the season, I'll say that catch flow thing's amazing. I'm thinking already about you know the FA Cup and about the FA Vars and about you know things like transport for that. Really, you know, having the opportunity yeah, you don't, for you don't to think like, about like coaches and crazy, things. Crazy, yeah. Like that's yeah. not there's no budget for that. Like no, that's not a thing that we expect to spend don't on. Think so. About that, yeah. so yeah, so you know, if we if we're lucky enough to progress into into the, into three in rounds, we'll be off to Dunstable or off to Great Wakering, and you know what. Yeah. That, 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 that'd help us out, that'd help us out with yeah. that, get that, that guest there. So is he the most sponsored player now, 700 quid? Is that quite, the... quite some distance. <laughs> I want like, yeah. in the programme, like a big name, yeah. big name in there. Oh look, we're giving you a double feature, send the spread, spread, send, send the spread. Right? Money's yeah. worth it then. Whatever you like, whatever you need. <laughs> but would you consider us wearing some West Essex merch if we dug you a couple of bits out? Would you, um, I could probably do a little thing, probably, yeah. Maybe just if you were in your, you know, in your front room while you're watching a bit I reckon of I could, yeah, I reckon I could. Yeah, and I could probably get you a discount on that stuff. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. I'll catch you in a bit.